DJI is about to release their first ever 360 drone, the direct and only competitor of the anti-gravity A1, the Avatar 360. And it looks like it's also very close to being released as we got our first look at the box and the first details about the camera specs and the price have surfaced. And if they turn out to be real, it could once again set DJI's domain in another new category of aerial videography. We already had our first look at it a few months ago, but Quadro News has just leaked the price of all the combos on X, along with the first details about the camera. First of all, the drone will come in four bundles, a drone-only version, two combos with the RC2 controller, one with three batteries and the other with a single battery, and finally, an FPV kit with DJI Goggles N3 and the Motion Controller 3. What's interesting about this drone, though, is that, unlike the anti-gravity, it won't be limited to FPV piloting with goggles, but it will fly and record as a regular Mavic, and that's the real advantage on top of the much lower price of the drone. In, in fact, the camera module will rotate vertically hiding one of the two sensors and placing the other right up front. In this mode, it can be used as a normal FPV drone in acro mode, or like a cinematic DJI drone with a controller. It packs three use cases in just one product. But versatility won't be the only advantage. The price will also be significantly lower than Insta360's drone. We're looking at a starting price of about 450 euros for the drone-only version, and the motion combo with the goggles will be priced at around 900 euros. Historically, DJI prices outside China are about 20 to 30% higher than the direct currency conversion from Chinese yen. So keep in mind that these prices are all estimated considering the leaked Chinese prices, which would suggest much lower price points but unrealistic expectations. But the leaks don't end there, as new info about the camera has also surfaced. As you can see in Quadro News leaked box image, the video recording resolution will reach 8K at 60 frames per second. However, there's one big downside compared to the anti-gravity A1, the weight. While Insta360's drone weights at less than 250 grams, the Avatar 360 might not, potentially making a license required to fly it in many countries. Another downside, which can however also be seen as an advantage, will be the form factor. Given the fact it can also fly a Chrome mode FPV, a rigid one-piece frame with duct propellers was required, compromising on portability. While the anti-gravity features folding arms that make it very small and easy to carry, but a lot more fragile and less powerful, as it is not capable of flying in acro mode and it only reaches 57 km per hour, while the previous models of the Avatar series could fly at 97 km per hour in manual mode. As for the release date, we might see it come out in the first months of next year, but nothing is confirmed yet. So make sure you're subscribed to not miss any new update and drop a like if this video was helpful.